Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Transport Fever 2 Tropical Fun. Now, um, last time around I believe, got finished plumbing in all of these uh, crazy tracks over here. Uh, so, um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start flinging some trains at this. And, uh, yeah, I think, reasonably, I should be, oh man, how am I going to get the trains all on the, uh, the right tracks and from where? Oh yeah, right, I have a uh, thing there. Ah, right, okay. I need another um, track which comes across this way. Uh, that's not going to work. Um, oh, wait, that might work. Too much slope. Why? Uh, oh, wait. That could work if it can come out to here. Yeah, I think that'll work. Right. How hideous is that? And better yet, I can't double slip that. I can double slip that though. Huh. Yeah, I don't need to slip that, but I will. Uh, and I, if I slip that one, yeah, that'll work. Okay. Uh, right. Anyway, uh, the whole point of that was so I could get some trains onto these tracks. And uh, yeah, that will let me get trains onto all of these tracks. It will. Yep. Good. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fling some trains on here uh, that should be able to make a couple of dollars. Now, uh, I'm thinking that these two forests plus the um, sawmill uh, will be a good uh, starting point. And then, yeah, yeah, and, and then I can... Uh, Yeah, so that'll at least make some money. And then, then I think I'll need to link up a train between the two hubs and connect up this food thing with the uh, farms over here. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much what I think I'm going to need to do. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not entirely convinced this is going to make any particular amount of money. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, uh, so, where am I going to find a depot? Um, nowhere nearby, by the look of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what I can do, well, hmm, well, I've got the uh, passenger lines coming through here, then I'll have, right, yeah, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do there, uh, right. Is I could fling it out from this depot, but that's not going to work. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work at all. Although I could put a uh, crossover between the uh, lines over here. Um, you know what? I'm going to do that. Uh, 
just so that I can interchange if I need to. Uh, right, where is it? There and there. Right, okay. And if I slip these, then we get a complete uh, interchange there. So that means I can fling trains up from any uh, any depot, right? Uh, yeah. Still flinging them up from here does seem to be a little bit uh, excessively far away. But I don't see a depot that's going to work any better. Unless I build one, of course. And you know, I think maybe building one, I don't know, say over here, that might not be such a bad idea. Okay, so do this. right okay you can go back up there you can go like this right then if we do this I uh, go back and clobber that right and then we can do this right so I should be able to slip those Well, that will ultimately allow me to uh, get a train on from here. So this will be a slightly better spot to uh, launch trains from. Okay, now I need a couple of signals here. And, well, I think maybe uh, signaling like that. Now, uh, I think that will, yeah, that's got, uh, that's got things split up uh, properly now. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, what am I running here? Uh, well, it's 1916, so we're still on Steam, but what is this? The A35 on the passenger. Uh, what am I running on here? Is it? Uh, the class S. Okay. Well, uh, so I'm going to need flat cars for two forests and a uh, sawmill. Right. Okay. Uh, good. Well, I'll grab this. Um, okay, so buy a vehicle. Locos. Don't have diesels yet. So, um, okay, so class S is uh, 880 and 140. The Mikado is uh, 1173 and 228. You know... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab that one, and then we need flat cars. And do we have we have 80k ones? We do. Uh, okay. Eh, we'll put 10 cars on each one of those, and I'm gonna need three of these. Okay, so uh, up here. We've got uh, a new line which goes here to here, right? And that's going to be, well, we'll turn that off. Okay, Arvada Forest to Arvada. Right, okay, so this is cargo rail. 
and it's uh, Arvada. Um, yeah, Arv Forest to Arv. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, right. Then we go back over here. Uh, after I get the uh, get these all set up, I'm going to uh, ride the third one. Uh, where did I? What? It's over here. Right. Okay. Now we will new line this here. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go here to here. Yep. And that is Berkeley Forest. So that's uh, Burke Forest to Arvada. Okay. And right. Now we've got, uh, no, not buying, we already have it. And this is going to be a new line, which goes here and here, right? And that's Arvada Sawmill, right? Okay, so that's uh, Arv Sawmill to Arv, right? So that was the easy stuff. Um, right. Uh, okay, we've got a the train window up. Now, uh, while that's all sitting around uh, looking stupid, uh, because I don't have enough signals on the lines, I am going to put a couple of signals in here. Uh, right, need, need a signal there, need a signal there, uh, need one here, and I guess one in the middle. And I'm going to need one over here. Yep, is that facing the right way? Yeah, it is. Uh, and probably a couple along here. I'm probably going to need two or three trains on this line. Right? Like that. And then I need to go over here and do the same. Uh, right. Okay. Oh, it's moving. Well, I'm going to pause while I uh, I put more signals on here. Oh, come on. Yeah. Like that. One, and I guess one here, right? Yeah, okay, that'll work. Good. Now, uh, let's, um, let's get on here and just uh, take a ride. Now, while we uh, take a ride around here, uh, so uh, there is some news uh, about uh, development for Transport Fever 2. Uh, as of uh, when I'm recording this, uh, there was an announcement on the forum uh, for uh, Transport Fever on Steam that uh, there is a new uh, development uh, update uh, coming in June. And it's available for beta testing on Steam now, although it's a little bit unstable at the moment and incomplete. So that means that uh, there's a major update coming to Transport Fever 2, which may fix a few of the niggles in the game. 
or it may not, hard to say. Uh, either way, uh, some things may change, and there is an outside chance that uh, the um, uh, th my save game will uh, go poof, uh, depending on the um, uh, compatibility of the uh, small number of mods I am using. That uh, said, I don't think it's going to do that. Uh, and it may, uh, it may improve performance and make the map uh, you know, function better. Uh, that's hard to say. Uh, either way, uh, ultimately, uh, you know, contrary to uh, what the um, various uh, complainers online have been saying, uh, Urban Games has not abandoned Transport Fever. So, uh, yeah, uh, there's going to be updates and, uh, uh, you know, month or two, uh, we're going to have a major update to the game. Uh, and I kind of look forward to seeing that. You know, this is uh, actually quite uh, quite a peaceful ride here, as long as there isn't some guy like me yammering at you the whole time. Uh, it's kind of impressive coming up on the uh, viaducts and the town there, so... Yeah, I actually kind of like this. Um, you yeah, know, in case you're wondering why I didn't launch the uh, trains from... Uh, from the existing, uh, like from a depot closer. Uh, I didn't want to do a bunch of funky track fiddling to get everything to work. So uh, it was easier to put it back there and just have them travel uh, the existing rail network to get there. And that gives us an excuse to uh, ride a train through this uh, line here that was laid for the passengers. Uh, over the Isthmus here. Isthmus. Isthmus. Yeah, that's it. That's a hard word. We should come up with a better word for that. The narrow. No. Yeah, whatever. Right. Uh, so all. So it looks like uh, at some point here I'll be wanting to uh, upgrade the passenger rail network. Uh, but I'm going to defer that until probably into the uh, 1950s game time. Uh, you know, I, I want to get the uh, cargo network uh, much better connected before I uh, uh, before I get stuck into upgrading passenger service and so on. Oh look, autosave. Um, right. Uh, It'll be interesting to see how well this holds together when the more expensive trains come into play. Uh, naturally, there's no specific need to uh, switch over to uh, the newer trains when they're available. Uh, the uh, trains will continue running until the end of time, uh, once they're deployed, so, you know, there's that. Okay, we're coming up toward the new uh, area of development here. Okay, we're on the uh, the home stretch into the area. I'm obviously going to have to. Well, maybe, maybe not. Uh, I may not need to twin to quadruple this up. Yeah, maybe not. Hmm, that's worth pondering. Uh. I don't think there's going to be enough train traffic on here to cause a bottleneck. Uh, there will be the inter-hub uh, transports. Uh, otherwise, there wouldn't there won't be too much. I don't think. Okay, here we go. Um, can't remember where this one is destined. Okay, right. It's destined for the... 
Yeah, that just looks funny how it's coming in there, but it's all about uh, curved geometry. Um, yeah, okay, so we're, we've got some logs to take to the sawmill. Uh, so that's good. Look at that track plan going into there, hey? Uh, this actually looks kind of good. Uh, yeah. I could run a platform in the gap there, I think, maybe. Anyway, um, heading back, uh, back out here. Uh, we've got 60 of 120 logs on board, so that's not too bad. That's the uh, highway going over top there, I believe. Hey, yeah, I think this is going to work out uh, quite well. I'm not sure what I'm going to need to do to uh, connect everything up, but uh, uh, odds are pretty good once I do start doing that. The, uh, the game's going to start lagging a lot more. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a major uh, factor as well. As it turns out that uh, the more options the cargo has for going from place to place, uh, the harder the Pathfinder has to work, and that means that you get more game lag. So if you're playing a game and you've got a lot of uh, interconnection in your freight network, uh, you can end up with some major, major lag problems uh, if you um, if you don't uh, you know, if you don't limit the uh, connections some. Oh, I see. I've got catenary on there. Uh, probably want to remove that. Uh, right. Okay. Well, let's uh, duck out of here. Um. Right, so we'll see what this uh, this here brings in. Uh, no, I want to go in here, go in here, and turn off the catenary. <laughs> I didn't even notice what it brought in, but... Um, right, I'm sure you characters watching did notice. Okay, right... Okay. Yeah, I clearly uh, forgot to turn off catenary when I was building the uh, the stations. Right. Okay. So that's uh, that's that. Now I need to bring crude. I need to bring the crude oil both of these up to here um, yeah yeah I definitely need to do that uh, and I've got an oil refinery here which is in range ah good 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 this will make money out here okay uh, good that was what I was uh, concerned about uh, right uh, okay so I need one two three trains with tankers yeah three trains with tankers okay well we'll uh, head over here uh, we'll buy vehicles and we'll go down to tank cars and that's the one I think uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yep uh, steam, locos. We took the Mikado, didn't we? Okay. I'm going to want three of these. Yep. Good. Uh, right. Okay. So now we're going to uh, add a new line, right? Uh, new line, which will go here to here. Yep. Uh, turn that off. And that's Arvada oil well. Yep. Okay. Uh, so this is going to be cargo rail. Uh, Arvada oil well. 
to Arvada. Yep. Okay, now we can go back over here, pick up, what are we getting? This one, and that's going to be a new line, which goes from here to here, and that's going to be Arvada Oil Well 2 to Arvada, and what have we got next? Uh, we got the... Uh, the oil refinery is actually connected there, so we need, right, the chemical plant. Okay. So we'll new line here, here. Uh, and that is the Arvada chemical plant. Yes, okay. Uh, cargo rail, Arvada to Arvada chemical. Okay. Uh, right, so that gets that. Um, now, uh, right, I need to uh, fix these names. Oil well. Oil well. Yep. Oil well number two. Yep. Uh, oil well number two. Yeah. This is also I can uh, keep track of what's uh, what's actually going on here. So this is Berkeley Forest. Yep. Okay, and this one, Arvada Sawmill. Yep. Right, and that is Arvada Forest. Okay. Yes, and yeah. And that one as well. Right. Uh, you know, that was all just because of my um, uh, CDO with respect to that stuff. Okay. So, that gets almost everything there connected up in a way that's semi-profitable. Then I need to bring the... Um, chemical plant uh, stuff into Arvada. Um, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. I can. I can definitely do that. Uh, good. So that means I need box cars. Yep. That means I need box cars. Okay. So that's one more to fill in there. Uh, buy vehicles. Mikado. Cargo. Boxcars. Eh. Yeah, we'll put those on there. Uh, right, so new line. We go over here. We got this. Okay. And this is Arvada Chem to Arvada Boxcar. Okay. Well, if we, uh, we could ride this train back out there again, but we're not going to. Uh, I'm going to actually install a couple more signals because we've got traffic jams on this line uh, which is uh, really unsurprising uh, so if I put 
like this. Yeah. And like this. Yeah, okay, yeah, that will help. Now, uh, I need to get, uh, okay, so we need to move possibly crude oil, uh, lumber, well, lumber and, uh, hmm, lumber and well, I'm not not quite sure actually hmm well definitely need to get uh, get lumber uh, flowing through uh, somewhere okay so we've got oil here yeah. Okay, so I'm not sure which way I need to get everything to flow there just yet. But what I am going to do is uh, look at... Uh, Okay, so the main line, it needs to go, the main line comes through on these two, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Okay, so what I should do is... Uh, Bring the main line through. Um, yeah, that is the main line. Okay, I need to uh, take a look here. Uh, right, the hub connector. Yeah, those two are the uh, the main line. Okay. Okay, so that means I'm going to have these tracks coming out this way. Yep. Okay. okay. I need to come across to here. Right. Now, how am I going to get past the passenger station here? Hmm. Huh. Well, I think... I need to stay elevated. Yeah, staying elevated should be enough. Because I think I'll be able to go over top here. And we've got a faster bridge. Which we can use. So I'll use it. Ah, yes. Good. We can just go over top. Yep. That is, uh, that is sweet. I kind of like how you can bridge over pretty much anything in this, uh, this game. Uh, right, so we've got a viaduct there. Now, we need to drop back down to the, to the level of the uh, freight line. Or they passenger line, or do we? Uh, maybe we just stay at that level. Yeah, maybe we do. Uh, right. Well, in that case. Um, yeah, that's not quite what we want to do there. I just want to get the, uh, the freight. Yeah, I, I want to keep the freight separated from the, 
from the passenger as much as possible. But I think, no, click on the right things. Once I get up to here, yeah, here, I'll uh, bring them back together. Yeah. Okay. So if I bring them together here, uh, then I'll need one of those here, one of those here, one of those here, and I won't need that one or that one. Yeah, so if I bring them together here, then this junction complex uh, won't be an issue. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I'll do. Uh, right. So you're going to need some more signals on here. So put them on there. Well, what do you think I'm doing? Well, it looks rather like you're putting signals facing the wrong way. Uh, yeah, it's quite possible I'm doing that. Right. Uh, that is the problem with the orbital bombardment view. Right. Um, yeah. Okay, so you're going to need one here. And you probably should do this, you know, so that uh, trains can uh, swap tracks at the station. Yeah, yeah, I probably should do that. Then along here, you want to bring the freight line out further so you have less period of conflict. Now is that what I'm what what I need to do? Okay. Well, I suppose I could do that. Uh, once I get this built, uh, that's going to be the end of the part. Uh, next time, I'll uh, well, uh, next time I might be uh, uh, flinging some more freight on here or extending the interhub uh, uh, train to uh, come all the way out this way. Uh, and it should create some uh, fun queuing at the uh, junction up here. Right. Well, okay, yeah. I d we definitely want to keep it snapped, of course. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. Now, where are you going to bring it back together? Well, uh, you, ju you just keep extending that. Yeah. Well, I'm going to bring it together right at the junction. You are, are you? Yep. I'm going to do it right here. And why are you doing it right there? Well, because we already have the uh, conflict point. So let's just have one main conflict point. Oh, is that your reasoning? Yep, that's my reasoning. Uh, whether it uh, improves things or not, it uh, certainly will... Uh, allow the trains to get in each other's way effectively enough. So, right. Uh, and now you're just flinging signals at things for the sake of flinging signals at them. Well, not really. Uh... That... what? This cup, what, ha, huh, what? What's going on there? What are we doing here? Um, 
Yeah, let's see which... Okay, that platform goes... These two platforms go all the way through. This one comes in... Ah, my eyes were just not functioning. Okay, good. Good. That has... Um, that that should be fine now when i when i want to connect the uh the freight up this way i can just peel off of here and just follow along there uh yeah okay that should be fine uh good so i'm going to uh, end the part with that uh next time around i think i'm going to get the uh the farms or get some of this stuff over here connected up to killing sightings here yeah yeah i think that's what i'll do and uh yeah i think that's what i'll do and that'll get some food uh flowing around and uh then i can get a consist running between these two hubs and i can hump um uh lumber and food and uh also tankers box cars and flat cars back and forth yeah uh because i don't see any reason oh yeah i'll need gondolas for the food so all four can yeah okay uh, anyway uh, that's going to be all for this time. Uh, we're up to 1918 game clock. So, uh, actually, you go away. Uh, so what I'll do is, uh, yeah, I think that's what I'll, I'll definitely look at doing that. And then, uh, then I'll look at rejiggering the uh, forest... Oh, uh, maybe not. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, what does Killy need for uh, tools? 222. And you are producing... Okay, yeah. Well, whatever. I'll, uh, I'll look into uh, connecting some more stuff up anyway. And uh, then we'll go from there. Um... Yeah, I'm not 100% sure, but anyway, that that's all for this time. I'll see you back, uh, you know, as usual on uh, Thursday. Uh, so uh, in the meantime, uh, stay healthy. Don't let the zombie apocalypse get you down. And until next time, uh, well, uh, be well. <laughs>